Hello there, folks. Hey, this video today, uh, I'm going to take you along for a ride and show you what it takes to update uh, Crimson 3.2 on a Flex Edge device. So here I've got uh, Flex Edge device at the default IP address here of 192.168.222.222. And if I hit the remote view, uh, I must have been using this for some testing somewhere along the line. So this is the database that currently is in the unit there. And the first step I want to do here on this example is I'm going to extract that database out of it to save it here. So I'm going to open up Crimson 3.2 and I'm going to, uh, let's see here, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click the link pull down and go down here to options. And we're going to attempt to use that IP address to extract this. So I'm going to change this to 192.168.222.222. Hit the find button here. See if it finds it. It found it right here. By the way, uh, I don't have a camera on it, team, but one of the cool features here is you can click the identify button. And during this procedure, the ring is blinking red and green while I'm in that mode, which is kind of cool. Anyway, so I'm going to click the OK button. That should be the unit. I'll click OK again. I want to extract the database that's in here right now, so I have that just going forward. So I'm going to hit link, click on extract. It siphoned out the database, and, uh, you know, we'll just call this uh, DA70. Today's date is 220603. Yeah, and I might call it uh, extracted because this is the original. So there we go. All right, so I've saved the database. Uh, you've extracted, uh, okay, so, uh, this may not reflect changes to the device. Sure, I'll do this too, I don't know what this means, but we'll upload that. So if I go over here to display pages, uh, I know it's really small, but there's the page. So I have now the database that's in here. Now, I'm going to attempt to uh, update the firmware in this thing. And what do I mean by update the firmware? Well, I am running right now, as of today, I have updated my version of Crimson 3.2 to this version right here, 3.2.0047.0. Going forward, that number will change. But as of today's date, that is the most recent that I'm running on my laptop here. Now, the unit I have, the, the Flex Edge that's running, let me show you something here. Uh, in the web server here, again, the default address usually on port 2 is 192.168.222.222. I'm going to go ahead and log into the system by clicking here. It's going to bring up this passwords admin. And I don't know what the password well, I do here. Uh, I have on this one, I have a sticker on the side because I've changed it from the default passwords, which is usually some word, hyphen, word, hyphen, some number. I typically will change that to the last six digits of my serial number. So in this one, it is number here let's see if we get it here okay perfect i'm not going to remember that now all right now what i want to show you here the reason i'm going into here is because i want to show you what the current firmware is on this unit let me back up i may have done that too fast so by clicking on system info right here if i click on system info i can see that the current software version is 3.22.044 uh, or 0044.0 and remember I'm running a different build of Crimson. I'm running this build here, okay? So we're gonna try to attempt to download this over ethernet. Uh, we can also do it over USB. Upon my thoughts here. Well, um, let's try it over ethernet first. Let's see what happens. And then uh, I'll, I'll, maybe I should make a video on how to download over USB as well, but let's try it over ethernet. So we're gonna go to the link pull down here, check options. Make sure that's still correct there. And you know what I'm going to do here, just to be kind of the difference? I'm going to add a text box down here. And just so that we can tell if we did something new. Oops. So uh, we'll just put Wazoo was here. Just made a change. All right. So that is in the database. Of course, if I hit the Save button, well, I shouldn't save this because this is the original extract i'm going to do file save as and let me find where i save that here uh, 
Uh, can I sort by most recent here? Details, date. Okay, so here's the most recent. I'm going to change the name slightly. I'll do extracted. I guess I can leave that, but I'll call it Rev A, for instance. Okay, so I got Rev A. I'm going to hit save. Remember, you always want to click no to this team. 99% of the time, always click no. I've got a wonderful video that shows this uh, reason why, but to always want to click no. So I'll click no there. All right, so let's see if I can download this build, which should update the firmware. So let's see what happens. I'm going to hit the Shazam button here. Let's see what it does here. So the unit is not contained. I'm going to say yes. I would like to continue. The device will be rebooted, updated with the new. Okay, so let's see what it does here. I did this uh, with another unit yesterday and uh, had some uh, interesting things. So that's why I want to make this video. This procedure can take you up to 10 minutes to go through this procedure. So I'm going to let it go through this Ethernet method here. And uh, I'm going to edit out some of this video so you're not sitting here listening or watching this board. Oh, wait, maybe this one will get done faster. Let's see here. Let's see what it does here. Hold on your team. Still have the green ring around the thing. I have the green ring around my DA70. Uh, I suspect that the web page is still up here. So that looks good. I can go back to possibly the home button here. It's still live. And if I go to the runtime right here, I should be able to get back to my view. And I'm, we're looking to see the text here. Wazoo is here when we get done. That's what we're looking to get out of here. Let's see, is this thing still cranking away? It's doing something here. Okay, look, it's moving some headway here. Still have the green ring. Patience. The purpose of this video is to show you some patience. Okay, the unit just cycled power. The ring on it went blue. It's flashing blue and white right now. It's flashing. Okay, now it's going flashing green. Blinking green on the unit. Still blinking green. Okay, the ring is solid white right now. Still solid white here. Yep, still white. Let's see what it's doing here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it supposedly that stopped. This is a little quicker than it was yesterday with the other unit. Now the ring on the unit is completely green. I'm going to go back here to the web page. Hey, look at there, team. Wazoo was here. So how about that? That actually worked pretty quick. I did it yesterday with another one of my units, and it took uh, me having to go the USB method. So that is how I updated the firmware unit uh, in this thing over Ethernet. Uh, let me prove to you, at least I think I want to prove to you, that I updated this. I'm going to go back to the main listing. I'm going to go click on the system over here again. Got to re-log in. Admin password is, in my case, I switch it to the last six digits of the serial number. And by the way, that will tell you that the last six digits up on here is right here, which is 900078. That's what I always change it to. 
and if I click system down here you can see right now I clearly updated that there is matching the same build that I'm running here in Crimson right here so uh, that was just a quick video of how you can update this over the Ethernet method the purpose of this video is to show you to have some patience because this procedure can take uh, a little bit of time now once I've made this change in here so if I wanted to say move this page to top or maybe insert a new page go here and I'll insert a new page once you have the procedure done like so maybe I'll add a couple things on here go down here system functions go to my uh, network here grab the get net IP they've added a bunch of new things in their team but anyway Get net IP here. I'm going to grab this guy out. And I'm going to put this one right here. I'm going to make the box a little bigger. Maybe I won't if my mouse will come. All right. So if we click one time, boom, 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 we can make the bold. And then I'm going to double click on this guy. just to. So notice here, this says get net IP zero. I'm going to end up making some copies of this to look at the interface for one and two on this thing. I think zero one's the same, so I'll just do the right click smart duplicate. Boom. Boom. And then I'll double click on the second one here. I'll change this zero to a one by clicking in there. Boom. That's number one. And then let's change this one to interface number two. So I'll put my mouse in there, put a two, enter. Click OK. Now that I've uh, done those changes, I'm going to hit the Shazam button and I'm going to cross my fingers. I believe the update should be super fast because I'm running the same firmware that's in Crimson 3.2 that's on the unit. So it's only going to really update the database. So let's see. One, two, three. I'm going to click the button. Wow, that was pretty blazing fast. Go back here to my web server. Go to the home button here. Uh, oops, I'm going to go to the runtime the server button right here. And hit remote view. Let's see if we get the yellow screen. We sure do. And there's the number. So... That worked out pretty sweet, so that's just a quick video on how you can update the firmware on a FlexEdge device. Hey, thanks a lot, folks. Have a great day.